百亿的在精华的那个，你去吗？我会，你会去吗？啊，我也会去。啊，但是我不能吃免签的。看一下，看一下，你看他那个。所以我是没得吃。那个重重点是，那个金金马是反对马。对呀，对呀，我来嘛。就你来，我来讲。对，我搭车去又再回来也是。反正我是要去，但是我得赶回来，因为我七点钟要回来。我们同学的一个发表。如果如果如果先那边，我所以你可以说赶回来。对，不是，哎，我觉得我们还可以测一下背后的，看最近，不要再靠一下，就是不要测，有点这样子。交大也不错，交大，然后，然后，然后，薪资不大，然后嘛，就要再考。而且我觉得说，说这个，这个很好，以前啊，什么啊，怎么样？他去找我们讲话，他就说什么前辈啊，这这个也是两世纪。前辈他有那个，他们然后两世纪，两世纪的那个东西，我听说不怎么样，不难为。就是所有的都开一下就可以了，因为现在后面还有一个。我现在开这个，这个不知道要不要开。哦，现在只开这个。现在试试看，这样这样应该就可以了。我我觉得
他他们的。
，他现在是这一只，这一只是不知道为什么，可能是另外一个麦克风。By offering education and research resources for innovation uh, with uh, commercial potential, uh, TIS will also develop new approaches to bring knowledge and idea to the marketplace. New dimensions of strategic collaboration between companies and universities, and new cur curricula for undergraduate and uh, graduate education <coughs> to achieve. The balance of technical depth, design skills, and the business acumen. Uh, the programs uh, that will be initiated by TIX uh, include, first of all, research collaboration and the new doctoral degree programs. Uh, we saw that to further Increase in action between uh, our university and uh, the institutes uh, in institutions in uh, Israel. Uh, the collaboration uh, among our faculty is still the most important. Uh, one vehicle is the new doctoral degree program. Uh, now uh, we already have signed the new doctoral degree program with Technia. Uh, we also have MOU uh, with uh, Tel Aviv University uh, in uh, exchange of faculty and uh, uh, students. So we could uh, we would like to establish similar <coughs> programs with uh, uh, Tel Aviv University and uh, 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 Weissman. <coughs> now, uh, to uh, achieve this goal, uh, we conduct these uh, workshops, like the one we held uh, in the past two days, so that uh, the two communities can know uh, better each other and explore uh, possible collaboration. Uh, then uh, this uh, a very important part is uh, uh, PhD students that uh, uh, work under the joint supervision of uh, faculty at MTSU and uh, uh, Tenya, for example, uh, and uh, uh, obtain uh, double degrees from those institutions. Uh, then possibly uh, you have uh, joint research projects uh, for the two faculties involved. So uh, possibly we'll have initial seed projects uh, funded uh, to the institute, and uh, later on, perhaps uh, uh, through the nature of science and technology and uh, uh, similar institutions in Israel. Uh, the second part is the industrial exchange professors and the interns. Uh, for uh, students, Young people, uh, we like to uh, offer them the possibility of uh, uh, working in the innovation environment at uh, NTHU uh, or Israel. So uh, our students or uh, staff teams have the opportunity to uh, visit. Uh, Israel and uh, stay in their uh, renowned incubators. And we also welcome uh, Israeli teams to come to Taiwan. Uh, for the uh, Israeli students and uh, uh, young people, uh, they have the opportunity to be housed in our new incubation center, and uh, uh, they have the possibility of interacting with uh, uh, Taiwan uh, industry uh, so that, uh, for example, prototypes and uh, uh, pilot rounds can be uh, arranged uh, through our contacts. Uh, 
besides, uh, we offer them cultural programs. So if they like to learn the Chinese uh, language or learn more about the culture, uh, there will be courses available. Uh, the next element is the industrial exchange scholar uh, program. So uh, people uh, from the industry can uh, spend uh, spectacles at NTHU uh, as a, a visiting uh, exchange uh, fellows. They can also uh, teach courses, uh, particularly in their uh, expertise uh, working in the industry or other businesses. Then there's an industrial settlement uh, program. That is, uh, NTHU faculty uh, can choose to visit one of the companies and spend uh, a semester there and uh, work firsthand in the industry and uh, gain useful experience and uh, perhaps uh, establish uh, uh, closer collaboration. Then the third program is the TX. Uh, junior fellows. These are young people, probably uh, just finished their uh, school, uh, graduate school, and uh, have uh, uh, in their uh, thesis research uh, innovations that have commercial uh, potential, and they would like to pursue that uh, potential. So. We offer this uh, fellowship so they can uh, pursue uh, their dream. Uh, of course, our innovation and innovation centers will uh, provide uh, business and legal support and uh, help them find uh, investor, for example. So these are the third plan for the three types of uh, programs. Uh, this shows the uh, current uh, plan timeline. So we are already at the end of uh, 2015. So uh, this is initially a three-year program. Uh, for example, uh, uh, for this part, we plan to have uh, 10 uh, awardees in the first year. And uh, uh, then uh, there are uh, uh, the recent workshops, and uh, uh, we already have one here this year, and uh, of course next year we will have another one, perhaps in Israel. And uh, then uh, the, uh, the new degree uh, student uh, uh, programs, and uh, uh, the TX uh, fellows, uh, etc. So these are the events or the uh, number of uh, people planned for support uh, as presently uh, planned. Okay. So uh, these are the uh, uh, tentative plan for the uh, TS uh, program. Uh, so uh, at this point, I'll show our. New uh, Center for Innovation and the Innovation Center uh, building, which uh, uh, our Israeli friends have uh, been over to take a look. Uh, it's near the south gate of the university. Uh, this is a building for the College of Technology Management. Uh, and uh, this is a building that will be uh, uh, open next spring. The Tsinghua lab is a interdisciplinary lab with a nano lab on the first floor. The, uh, from second and the ninth to ninth floor will be occupied by faculty from the uh, physics, chemistry, chemical engineering, material science, and the life sciences so that they can conduct uh, cross-disciplinary research uh, uh, using the uh, end of that uh, facilities uh, that will be uh, available. So 
uh, here is to be located here. Uh, that would be part of our international incubation effort. And uh, uh, we already have many takers uh, for the space in the innovation uh, uh, building. So uh, currently, uh, we have 35 companies in our incubator. Now the space here would allow maybe uh, expansion uh, three times as large. Okay. So uh, this is the uh, outside view of the uh, building. So uh, it be uh, an opportunity for uh, PX and the other programs to be developed. So uh, that's sort of an outline of the TX program. Uh, uh, do you have any uh, questions so far? Uh, could you elaborate on the uh, student exchange program that you have in mind? Because this seems to be yeah. the most relevant yes. to us. Uh, well, uh, the objective of this workshop is uh, uh, perhaps uh, you have looked at your partner, and uh, we can encourage uh, student to join this uh, program. Uh, then, uh, well, technical is already in place, so uh, mm -hmm. student can choose to enroll that program, and uh, we just follow the rules. I have printed out the uh, MOU for the uh, technical and Tel Aviv. Uh, I'll give you to you know, uh, later. So. Uh, so uh, for Tel Aviv uh, or West, we can do the same uh, uh, after uh, the MOU for the student is uh, established. Uh, so mm, we can have some, uh, we have, uh, okay, for students in Israel, they can also have this option, spend some time uh, here. So we'll offer a scholarship while they are here. I understand, uh, for example, Tang Yang uh, offers a scholarship for PhD students uh, as a rule. So I guess Tang uh, students coming over with uh, uh, no problem in getting uh, support. Uh, besides, we will also leverage um, uh, support from, uh, for example, the Ministry of uh, uh, Science and Technology. They already have a similar program. Uh, uh, supporting a uh, PhD student will go over for a year. Uh, yeah, uh, so... Uh, so these are one, one year long programs, uh, roughly? Okay, or, can be, uh, can be two years. Uh, can yeah, be one and yes. two years, or, yeah, it's, uh, or even longer. Depending on the uh, supervisor's uh, yes. judgment on uh, how much time uh, they should spend in the uh, other institutes, and it's uh, entirely flexible. Maybe uh, six months is enough, okay. or yeah. multiple, uh, I mean, six months this year, and the yeah. other year it could be another possibility. Yes. So it's all, all flexible. And then say a few things, and have some suggestions. And what we knew is cool. So first of all, it's my first visit to Taiwan, and I was, I must say that uh, there are many things here that I really liked, and uh, it's kind of strange because I've been to China before, to mainly China, but then to Taiwan, and I think that you are more like us. <laughs> in any ways, in any ways. First of all, the very fact that the vice president is a compliment. The very fact that the vice president is appearing without a, a, a tie already speaks for itself. We go to the fact, very fact that. Uh, Students ask questions during, uh, during talks. At the end of the talk, they ask questions. This is something that is unusual. If uh, in mainland China, they never ask questions. They accept it as if it's, a, it's an act of God. And the speaker speaks. And th so things here are very much like us. And I must say that in terms of uh, the culture of interaction between people, I, I really enjoyed it. I found it that uh, Taiwanese people are generally very friendly, very open. And, uh, 
simply we ask questions, everybody will answer. It's not like they will look the other way, which happens in the West a lot. <laughs> and um, now, regarding, in the, regarding the strength of, uh, that I found uh, in Taiwan, it's probably fair to say that the strength of the industry here is, 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 is outstanding. So this is something that everybody knows. And uh, you know, in Israel, the way that it goes is that the R&D industry is very strong. But fabrication, we need really to make it happen. For example, Intel has the, the very large R&D center in Israel. Every laptop you buy it has Intel inside. That's a new laptop has Intel inside, I think. Then 80% of this is designed in high by technical graduates. Yeah. And there are many things like this. But the fabrication, our government had to uh, give tax breaks that are huge to Intel in order to make a, a fab so that people that are not engineers, just technicians, can work. And most of the companies don't do it. So fabrication of Intel is mostly in Malaysia, Indonesia, Western, and Taiwan, but, but not in Israel. But what about Kiryat Gat? Yeah, this is one of the two fabs that we have, and they are the only fabs. Israel does not have fabs as a general rule. And only when Intel they also. Taiwan is very strong in the state, actually makes products which we usually don't have. So this is something that is also a big advantage, especially for our engineers that would like to get a PhD as a whole. Interaction with industry is different than what we have. That's something that we can certainly exchange things. Now regarding your, your uh, ideas or the, the ideas to generate uh, Israel a one interaction between universities. So at the core of the thing, of course, like always, stands uh, funding. However, I would like to believe that there is much beyond that, which means that it's not only to take some uh, cake that uh, Edwin Jacobs gave, <coughs> write it, and to make a show, a physics interaction, but actually there is substance, and actually there is possibility to enrich science in both sides. So for that to happen, there are several things that I think need, need to be done. First, the first one is uh, things like this start from, from workshops that the senior people attend, and, and also the young researchers. So I think we need to do a bigger workshop. Mm -hmm. Two days, maybe two and a half days, but there will be such that there will be uh, more attended on both sides. <laughs> it can be either here or this way, and I'm willing to help either way. I, I can help that. We need to set the, the, the details of the, of the data are sensitive. For example, if this was last week, you would have at least five more Israelis coming, mm -hmm. senior. Uh, it's coming. But you know, this is what's moved to this. That's just one. And, uh, but this is where it starts. The interactions are one to one, that's the important part. So I would suggest that the seed projects are extremely important and they should be reviewed properly. In other words, there should be a real proposal going there, not many pages, three, four, five pages, but it needs to be real. So the money goes to things that we go for real research. I mean, peer review. Yeah. Inside the universities, yeah. by, the, by something that can be managed by your thing, that you can send it out for you within the universities. But there should be very judgment. The most important part is perhaps postdocs. Now, yeah. the way that it goes is like this. In Israel, in all the universities, you would really like to have excellent postdocs. Taiwan is famous for having excellent PhD students. When I was a professor at Princeton, we, every year we made sure that we have Several people from Taiwanese, the top Taiwanese universities, because they know that they are, they are, they have excellent undergraduate education or under, and for graduate education. They are, and they are motivated and they are mature, more mature than many others that they come, which is, I think, a very good quality. Partly because in Taiwan they have to go to the army, so after the army service, that today is a bit shorter, I know, still they mat it matures the people by, by quite a bit. So I think that's a uh, crucial <coughs> issues, and, uh, if, and my group and many other groups, I think everybody would like to have excellent postdocs in Israel, so if you have them, and there is even if you put part of the funding, we will supplement the other part. <laughs> it's, that's really a key issue. You mean uh, matching funding? Matching, we will match it. Every professor, and I think this is the way it should go, huh? don't offer postdocs for free, mm -hmm. because of the other people going for the money. Make the professors, or put some matching, can be one third or, or one half, but put them put mention, then you can increase the number. Very important. We have this kind of things with other money. And uh, uh, regarding uh, exchanges, which I think are also important, 
there should be at least form, you know, you have form, you know, for example, I saw my friend Gershon talking to one of the young guys, I forgot his name, but the dancer. No, he went away. He already went away, the dancer. Excellent kid. Yeah. This is something that is natural, for example. Yeah, yeah. There are many, many others. Yeah, we're, we're thinking already about yeah, doing too. something. Levy yeah. is a natural partner here, and also for me, there are several. So there are, there's a lot of, this is a kind of uh, how the things are formed, and uh, there are ways also to enhance, to encourage the exchange mm -hmm. of professors, not only students. <coughs> yeah. I think, uh, so yeah. there will be, regarding the technical sense, uh, I know very well all the technical management. In fact, I appointed the president. I was in the committee appointed. In the past, the probably I will be on the next one also, because they know that I will not give anyone any discounts. <laughs> so uh, I know the policies. Yeah. The idea is that we would like to partner with top universities yeah. when it is the benefit of the two. So it's not only for money, it's really for purpose of policy. Another suggestion that I have to you is, is maybe it's a good idea to not to limit it only to Chihuahua, but then we get also National Taiwan and one more. So that we, it will be more or less balanced. If you want in Israel three universities or four universities, so you will balance also on the Taiwanese side, and the other universities are here for two. They claim that they are as good. <laughs> I want, first of all, I, if I didn't make myself clear previously, it was, it was a compliment. <laughs> we are very critical of ourselves, particularly I think that when we say that people get act like us, it's always a <laughs> problem. Uh, I, I want to emphasize and give an example on the last topic that Moti mentioned. There is there is a program in between the Israel and the US government. It's called Bi Binational Science Foundation in the United States. Whereby <coughs> there are small amounts of um, or modest amounts of money for the table for for, uh, for, uh, for two partners from each country, and I think one from each. I, I think uh, on on the last topic that multi one can take an example this program. I, I, th I find it very beneficiary mm -hmm. for both sides, and uh, I think uh, after one or two sessions like uh, like like this one, I think one should try to aim higher and uh, involve the government or mm -hmm. the Ministry of Education. I don't know how the Taiwanese system is. In, in our case, it's uh, I guess. The BSF belongs. No. It's, it's independent. It's independent. Yeah, but it was instituted by National Academy. <coughs> so there is yeah. a way to get it to. Yeah. I, I, there, there must be a way that uh, yeah. we know in, this, uh, in the Israeli side, or we can figure out. But I think it's. Uh, yeah, I think the Academy in Israel signed with the most. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so uh, it's possible to have uh, this. Uh, but yeah. mm -hmm. the, the problem with the contract on most is that uh, they limit the program to be related to biomedical research. Uh, well, currently, yeah, currently there's a contract between Ministry of Science and Education. Oh, with, mm -hmm. sorry. Uh, th that's not what he has in mind. There is in Israel. There is this uh, Ministry of science and technology, and they are really heavy on applications. And so okay. this is what you have in mind. But the US-Israel Financial Foundation is a good example of supporting basic research, OK? Nothing to do with it. It too, but it's not targeted to applications. It can be any research okay. on butterflies, OK? Yeah. And, but, and this is a, the way to do that is to establish something that is initiated by National Academies for Science. I don't know how to do it on our side because I'm a member of the National Academy, so I know how to get it ignited. So, and then after that, what will happen is the National Academies will go to the government. The government will need to put some modest amount. Mm -hmm. It does not have to be big, it can start yes. small. But if it's real, then it will have momentum. We have this also with Germany. Yes. So also, it's only, this is a program that will go back to now 30 years, maybe more. Yeah, so somehow we still have to suggest to our government to establish this kind of uh, 
exchange. Actually, I think that we, right now sometimes the way government is that they do not support science. Right now there is one that supports. We don't know what will happen with the next, we never know. But this one does support science, so there is a way to, to now it's a, it's a good time. There is actually a nice model with India. Yes. Uh, we, I, I have several uh, postdocs from India, and they are supported uh, um, jointly by by the uh, by the two governments. Uh, so it's uh, it's a successful exchange program. Yeah, I, really I, I was submitted proposal through this program with RV Gover, yeah. and yes. the proposal failed because we both work on radiation, but not quite uh, medical science. So, but anyway, but again, the these are the, these are completely different types of grants. He sent it to most, that's why. Yeah. So we have most, is most. Yes. Most. Most. They, most. most is really directed to control yeah. application. Yeah. There is something broader that they're talking about. Yes. It's open, it's more important. Uh, anyway, we can explore these uh, uh, possibilities and uh, perhaps uh, uh, suggest to the appropriate industry and agencies uh, to uh, all these. Uh, I think uh, uh, also nowadays uh, both uh, Taiwan Lab can also join the Horizon 2020 uh, program. I know Israel is uh, actively involved. So we are yeah. full member. We are full member, member of the other. Yeah. With, with the EU, you mean? With the yes. EU. Actually, uh, our young uh, young people, you know what it's called, they, you know, they're uh, ERC, ERC. Yeah. Uh, uh, quite young, young, investigators. young investigators, consolidators, and advanced. Yeah. And the, uh, just now came out the results of the young Israelis in the total number, not per capita, we are number five in Europe. We are better than the most of the big countries. The success yes. rate is, uh, I think, is second for Israel yeah. after the UK. Yes. Yeah. In absolute number. Yes. Uh, so we are number. Yeah. So uh, it's possible that uh, uh, our faculty can work with you and uh, also other partners uh, to leverage uh, uh, resources from uh, as auxiliary members it can be done yeah. yes. this thing exists it's absolutely okay uh, we have some time uh, I have another slide which is an overview of the university I have so some of the slides that may be helpful uh, to you. Uh, okay, uh, I know you are all very knowledgeable, so uh, you know the geography of Taiwan before you come here and study first. <laughs> uh, uh, anyway, Jinju <coughs> uh, City actually is, is like Haifa. Uh, so they have uh, major research universities uh, uh, like uh, ours and uh, our neighbor NCTU and the research institute like E3 and the uh, uh, science park and uh, many uh, national uh, laboratories uh, including the Sinclair Radiation Center and uh, uh, hyperbonus uh, computing and uh, another device uh, laboratory etc. So, uh, some of you uh, may know, uh, this university, uh, uh, its predecessor is the Tsinghua Academy, uh, established in 1911, using the indemnity from a return by the U.S. Uh, for the uh, boxer uh, uh, incident. Uh, then uh, in 1928, uh, it became a full university. Uh, that's the name we kept until this day. Uh, during World War II, it mo was moved to Kunming and uh, uh, together with Beijing University and uh, Nankai University formed the United University of the Southwest. In 1956, uh, this university was installed, really installed on our present campus, beginning with the history of nuclear sciences. Uh, to this day, we have the only educational uh, reactor in Taiwan. Uh, 
Among our own allies, there are several uh, local Orients, uh, PPD and uh, CN Yang, as well as uh, ITD in chemistry. Uh, there's also a you Wolf know, Prize uh, winner in mathematics. Okay, we, we don't have uh, that many faculty, less than 650. Uh, number of students is about 12,000. It's about half and half in undergraduate and graduate programs. Uh, we would like to have more international students. Uh, currently, we have about 800 out of uh, 12,000. Uh, we are small, but our faculty is uh, outstanding. Uh, this shows uh, the comparison of our university with NTU, which has faculty three times as many as us. NCKU, National Technical University in Thailand, which has uh, twice as many faculty as us and uh, also the other major research university in CTU. So for the most important uh, awards and prizes in Taiwan, you can see that we have the uh, proportionally much larger share than uh, the other university. So per capita of faculty is certainly uh, outstanding. Uh, so this is a ministry part of SCIP. Uh, we have seven colleges, uh, science, engineering, nuclear science, life sciences, uh, WE and CS, uh, which is very big, humanity and social sciences, and knowledge management, and a, a residential college called Tsinghua College. Okay, this is an audio organization I'll just skip. Okay. Uh, in the past two years, we have established joint research centers with uh, the flagship industry in Taiwan. Uh, this companies uh, commit for a long term, five year to ten year, to uh, conduct joint research with uh, our faculty. So this includes uh, Media Tech, which is an IC design company, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, Ivin is a, a precision machinery company, actually, I mean, has uh, close ties with Israel, uh, Light Arm, uh, and uh, Unimicron. Unimicron is a uh, PCB uh, company, number uh, two or three in the world. Uh, the major fields are this uh, here. In the processes, is the corresponding uh, research centers established. So in fundamental science, we have uh, uh, fundamental applied studies of matter. Also, there's a, a auxiliary center in organics. Uh, in nanotechnology, we have the nano sciences research center, uh, which uh, uh, has two major focus: one on IC, the other on biotech-related fields. Uh, we are very uh, outstanding in neurosciences, particularly uh, brain imaging. Uh, so this is a world-class uh, research center. Uh, if you have time, we will show you the 3D image of a, uh, the brain of a fly that they have uh, completely mapped. Uh, then the energy environment uh, field, as well as uh, the advanced manufacturing and service related to industry 0.0. Uh, we are uh, ranked very high for our size. For example, in the QS World University ranking, uh, we uh, rank 150 feet. However, uh, for those that's before us, uh, only 10 have faculties uh, less than 1,000. So for the size of, uh, uh, the size of our university, we are in the uh, top 10, uh, roughly. 
and uh, Shanghai Jiao Tong has ran university in, in mainland China, Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau. For two years running, we have been ranked second, uh, first in Taiwan, uh, mainly because in this uh, ranking, they take into the faculty moments. Uh, we have a uh, sitting field that's uh, worthily ranked uh, in the QS uh, uh, ranking by subject. So this includes all the basic sciences, physics and astronomy, chemistry, mathematics, material science, and environmental sciences, as well as uh, biological uh, science, all the engineering field, mechanical, double E, computer science, and chemical engineering. Uh, also, uh, business and management. We don't have law school, however, we are ranked uh, in the world in law. We don't have medical school. We are the only university without medical school that's ranked in medicine in Taiwan. Uh, we are very, ranked very high in uh, statistics and, uh, so, uh, and uh, operational research, uh, as well as uh, linguistic and modern languages. So you can see that uh, uh, we are uh, worthily ranked in almost all the fields that, uh, uh, that matters. Some of uh, our research outcome that's uh, being on the cover of uh, major journals. Uh, in 2012, uh, the Chinese edition of Scientific American has a special issue on Beyond the Limits of Science. They choose 10 uh, topics that fit their description from Taiwan. Among the 10, five are uh, prohibited by our faculties including the plasmonic nano laser, uh, big band tomography, terrace communication, brain imaging, and the photon pump. We collaborate with uh, many countries and many institutions. So uh, for the uh, years that we uh, search, we collaborate with 69 countries over 1,000 institutions in uh, over 10,000 articles. So you may be interested uh, how do we interact with you. Actually, there, there are uh, collaborations. So we met with Peng Yang. They are certainly uh, co authored papers with Python 40 with Tel Aviv 39 in the past 10 years. So, we have a lot to improve. There are a lot of possibilities. The fields covered here, uh, many, many are in the area uh, related to uh, physics, uh, for example, particle and fields, astronomy, uh, what is the discipline in physics, uh, AMO, and also in uh, chemistry, I only this uh, top 10 collaboration field. Uh, among these, uh, these are probably uh, from international collaboration in high energy uh, research. Anyway, uh, there's uh, much potential and uh, uh, we can work out. Uh, for the category uh, normalization impact, the global uh, baseline is uh, 0 0.69. For THU is 1.16. This shows selected fields that either exceeds this uh, baseline or very close to the baseline. So there are many fields uh, that's worthily uh, uh, ranked. Our faculty has been very innovative. Uh, this shows the number of US patents obtained and uh, applied 
in the past five years. For uh, 2013 and 2014, uh, we are ranked 15 globally. Uh, for this year, we are ranked uh, 11th. Uh, those that's before us include the University of California systems. So uh, we are actually in the top, top 10. Uh, so we are also uh, working closely with the industry. Uh, so right now we are uh, above the threshold of 100 million uh, NT dollars. Of course, this is uh, nothing compared with uh, Technial and the other uh, Israeli institutes, but uh, uh, we are on a very fast uh, learning curve. Uh, we also incubate very well. Uh, we have incubated more than 140 companies so far, and uh, 11 of these uh, listed on IPOs. Uh, this is this is already 15% of those contributed by more than 100 incubation centers in the University of Taiwan. Uh, one of the uh, teams, uh, Google Lock. Uh, developed an app uh, that's uh, recently acquired by LINE with uh, amount of uh, 0.53 million. That's an example. And uh, we have many international collaboration programs. So I mentioned that we have uh, MOU, MOU with Stanley and uh, Tel Aviv already. Uh, we have new degree program with uh, Stanley uh, already. So that's something for us build up. So uh, we also have internship programs. So in the TX program, we also like to, uh, to pursue that. And uh, uh, so basically, this is a quick overview of the university. So hopefully, it can help our uh, Israeli uh, guests on the potential of uh, virtual collaborations. We have 20 of the highly cited uh, uh, ISI. <laughs> okay. Most so. of them for mathematics. 20, 20 is a good, a very large number. Yeah, uh, our basic uh, science departments are uh, all very good. Uh, actually, Professor Mo, uh, chair of the physics department, is here. So uh, I think uh, uh, we uh, already know that. Uh, uh, some of our uh, uh, like of uh, NTHU uh, uh, works uh, as postdoc uh, uh, in uh, Israel. So uh, I think the duty we program uh, we can pursue uh, very actively, and that there are also possibility of faculty change uh, through uh, sabbaticals. I have questions from our young people.
But you will still stay here, right? Maybe we should meet again.